Oh hi everyone, Captain Maelstrom here. With the repeater refresh, which means a smaller rework, repeaters undergo some changes. When you open the repeaters tab, you can see all your repeaters are gone, but don't worry, all of the material cost for crafting and power surging was refunded, so you can craft and power surge all of the new repeaters for free. Well, maybe not all of them, because before this refresh many behemoths didn't have barrels or prism like shroud, Stormclaw, Quillshot and some others. Here are the new repeaters, all of them got nice and unique look. I don't want to read out loud all of them, but let me point out a few of them. Resoskiri repeaters looks the best. Its unique effect got buffed from 10 to 12% when power surged. Before surge it's only 8%. On repeaters this works on normal shots and chamber abilities. It's hard to check this on full bore and salvo, but it's very noticeable with marksman chamber. Next, Embermain. Embermain repeaters gives 250% bonus part damage on the 6th shot. Just like on Embermain sword, this percent damage is very huge, even if repeaters doesn't deal that high damage per shot. Or do they? Combining this with marksman and precision sight, you can deal massive damage. Well, massive part damage. And you can also use sharpen for the memes. Repeaters now gives innate perk, so you can have 36 perk with perfect perk economy. So with Helion, Riftstalker, Rezoqui repeaters, you can stack tons of damage perks. Helion is also a must have repeaters if you are planning to use Marksman and Precision Sight, which I gonna talk about later. Nizaka repeaters must be bugged because 25 health is extremely low, but maybe it sounds right, since it's very easy to activate. I don't know, I as the devs, but I got a hurry with the video because I don't have days to wait for answer. Hunger repeater has mobility slot, which is bad, but now you can just equip Urska repeater and bond it with Pangar and there you have the prismatic slots. Ristalker repeater is also very nice because of the unique effect provides consistent damage and the innate perk provides perfect perk economy. Repeaters got increased damage on basic shots, so now Ristalker unique effect will be more useful on them, because bigger hits generates umbral orbs with higher chance, while small hits has a low chance. Also chamber ability doesn't generate orb. Next, Stormclaw. Most weapons has energize on it, but since repeaters doesn't have a meter, it has Alteric Attunement. The unique effect is same as Stormclaw Hammer. It's nice, but on repeaters it's not that useful. Maybe for some kind of memes, but I will talk about this later. Drask repeaters also have Attunement as innate perk, and thankfully it gives damage against the beamer's head. Focusing one part is usually bad, but this works great with Marksman Chamber. Weirdly, Thunderdeep Drust repeater also exactly the same as Drust, just with better cell slots. So the same perk and unique effect. I let the devs know about this, because all of the Thunderdeep weapons has Aetheric Evasion instead of Aetheric Attunement. Repeater's basic shots got buffed. A lot. Instead 125 motion value during empowered, it deals 175 damage. So the basic shots damage was increased by 50 motion value, so by 40%, and that's massive. Chambers also got buffed. Footboard doesn't say damage numbers in the description, but during empowered, the damage bonus compared to non empowered got buffed from 2.5 multiplier to 3. So footboard deals about 14% more damage. Salvo, instead dealing 400 damage, it deals 450. During Gunpower, Salvo shoots 3 missiles, so instead 1200, it deals 1350 motion value, so 150, which is 12% more damage. The description isn't updated, but it is stronger. Lastly, Marksman Chamber. The description says it deals 350 damage instead 250 during Gunpower, 
which is also a new thing. But 100 motion value compared to Salvo's 150 isn't much. But Markspan was actually bugged for 3 years and the devs finally fixed it. On live server before the update, Marksman increased only the visual damage. This means if the part isn't broken, so grey health damage wouldn't get increased. You can see this on the DPS meter. My part damage is significantly higher than the health damage. But with the update, Marksman grants bonus damage even on the non-broken parts. So as you can see, my part damage is the same as the health damage. Combining Marksman with Precision Sight makes repeaters extremely strong. You can push this further by using Helion repeaters with pulls. Since you have prismatic slot, innate perk and perfect perk economy, the best choice in the build is pulls, not just because of the Helion unique effect, but also because Tenacious would give less damage because of the Berserker 6, and repeaters cannot use Adrenaline. Other alternative is Rage Hunter, but the goal is to kill Beamers before Rage. Only one repeater mod got changed. Capacity Magazine gives back 8 ammo per ability use instead of the old 4 ammo. Or was it 6? I never used it. This makes it possible to do some weird alternative playstyle with repeaters. You can combo this with Stormclaw repeaters and you never have to reload again. Well, you still have just much less. Sadly, Precision Sight is still bugged. This means any damage you deal resets the bonus damage. Let me show this. I remove Berserker, so it's easier to follow the damage ramping. I start with 458 on the first shot and it ramps up to 562. So Precision Sight gives more than 100 extra damage per shot. And this is without Marksman and Berserker extra damage and in real fight without overpower and potion damage. But as you can see, with Panga Lantern the damage doesn't ramp up because the Panga Lantern damage reset the bonus damage from Preksite, rendering it useless. Personally, in hunting grounds I prefer Koshai Lantern and in trial Drusk on Abmermen, but there are some trials I wish Panga Lantern would work with this. It's kinda hidden, but Saboteur's grip cooldown got reduced by 5 seconds. Sadly, it still doesn't make it much more useful, even if not for interrupting just to deal damage, it still falls behind Captain's Grip attack speed bonus. What I didn't mention before, and the most obvious, is the reticle slash crosshair change. Now it indicates the range for Empower Reload, which is really cool because you want to be as far from the behemoth as possible, but still stay close to Empower Reload range. It also shows different ranges, because the further you are, the less damage you are dealing. Before the update, the game didn't teach this to players properly, and now you can see different reticles. By the way, since Pares and Prism got removed, we got repeaters as a whole, and the mastery got a bit changed. This means repeaters got mastery card, but the old ones got resetted. I completed all of them, so now I have to get them back. Like I kinda expected, it carries over like Torgadoro Barrel feels the Torgadoro Repeater Mastery, Pangar Prince feels the Pangar Repeater Mastery. I guess the devs really want players to play with all of the repeaters again. At the end, I would like to share some personal thoughts. I'm playing with repeaters for a very long time, and I guess it isn't bragging to say I'm pretty good with them since I consistently place in tough one maximum top 3 each trial week with them. About 5 weeks ago, when we could test it with a bunch of players, I was literally the only one who said any kind of feedback about repeaters, 
and I would like to share this with you all. I leave the message here, but I won't read all of it, just sums up the parts. I didn't like, and I still don't like the removal of modularity, because we can't use the best unique effect with any elemental. Terra and choke weapons has horrible unique effect. Even if Thrust gives head damage, that's not a consistent damage in most cases. Resacry unique effect didn't work back then, so thankfully the devs listened and fixed this. Like Hammer, Riftstalker unique effect doesn't get stacked from special damage, so explosion and hammer, chamber ability on repeaters. But on Hammer it's fine, since it has higher base damage per hit, but repeaters have low damage per hit, but this also got fixed, because repeaters hits for big numbers now. Saboteur's Grip got 5 second cooldown reduction, but it's still useless. Basically you can throw it on the beam at which deals 2 shots worth of damage, or you can throw it on the ground, it charge up, dealing actually a nice amount of damage. But still, it's hard, or rather not consistent use it this way. Also, they gave damage to chambers and fixed marksman chamber. I remember the dev said somewhere, repeaters will be able to stagger and having a field of view change, but none of them happened. At least, I can notice that much. Here's the FOV on live server on the left side, and the updated FOV on the right side. If you increase the FOV and camera distance, it still doesn't change anything during combat. By the way, I intentionally left the Darkness Omnicell there, since the devs already shared this on the roadmap. Anyways, that's everything for now. Recently I started working, and I'm away from home for about weekly, for whole days, so I work plus travel weekly 60 hours, so I'm glad I got two days off from work to make content about the new patch, especially because I really enjoy playing with repeaters. Well, thank you guys for watching. See ya!